Episode 2 starts as Rick and Renette return to the exam center, anxiously awaiting the announcement of their results via their exam tickets. If the ticket glows blue, they've passed and move on to the second stage. Any other color means failure. Rick is nervous about his results, but Renette reassures him he did well. Rick appreciates her kindness, thinking if he were 10 years younger, he would marry her. However, she also shows her tough side, threatening to triple his training if he fails. Just then, Rick's ticket starts to glow. He picks it up and is thrilled to see he passed the first exam. As he and Renette leave the hall, a dreadful stench fills the air. A rich man approaches Renette, introducing himself as Raster Diarmute, the eldest son of the Diarmute family. Rick has dealt with two Diarmute family members before, but this time Raster is here to pursue Renette. Rick tries to introduce himself, but Raster dismisses him and focuses on Renette, declaring his love for her personality and asking her to become his second wife. Rick intervenes, claiming Renette is his girlfriend. Raster notices Rick's exam card and mocks him for still being an F rank at his age. Rick retorts that Raster looks too old for the exam as well, but Raster reveals he passed at 14 and is now an a rank adventurer and an instructor for the second part of the exam. Confident he has asserted dominance, Raster asks Renette to join him for dinner. Renette rejects him, saying the only man she'll go with is Rick, especially given Raster's overwhelming perfume. Furious, Raster vows to make Rick suffer in the exam and win Renette's love. After Raster leaves, Rick prays he won't have to deal with him during the exam. Rick notices that Renette is still clinging to him, so he jumps back in embarrassment and apologizes for calling her his girlfriend. Renette reassures him that it was fine, as he did it to fend off Raster, and it made her happy. Meanwhile, Raster is fuming because he couldn't win Renette over and lost to a middle-aged man. Just then, his two siblings, Freed and Angelica, approach him, complaining about an old man who messed with them during the exam. Freed mentions that the old man caused trouble, while Angelica says he beat her in a duel and wanted to make her his servant, despite her being the one who initiated the bet. Raster is outraged upon learning it was Rick who humiliated his siblings and sees an opportunity for revenge. Later, as the mock battles are about to begin, Rick is nervous. Renette advises him to hold back during the exam, but Rick doubts his own strength. He is also anxious about the possibility of Raster being in charge of his test. Just then, a man named Lynx arrives and informs Rick that he will be overseeing his exam. Rick is relieved, feeling one less thing to worry about. Lynx expresses admiration for Rick's determination to become an adventurer at his age and shares his own story of becoming a B-rank adventurer over 20 years. Inspired by Rick, Lynx is excited to test him in the mock battle, but warns he won't go easy on him. As Rick and Lynx part ways, Raster lurks nearby with a sinister plan. Soon after, Lynx mysteriously falls ill, and it is announced that Raster will be taking over Rick's exam. Rick starts to panic, and Renette suspects Raster pulled some strings to make this happen. Other examinees confirm Raster's reputation for enjoying tormenting F-rank adventurers, and Rick realizes he's in serious trouble. Raster, meanwhile, is outside tormenting another examinee, but his fun is interrupted by a message from the elite guard. Inside, Rick paces anxiously as his turn approaches. Renette encourages him, reminding him of his potential and her belief in him. A cloaked boy then offers Rick a free fortune telling, but Renette spots a magic circle on the chair and tries to warn Rick. It's too late, as Rick is teleported away. The cloaked boy reveals himself to be freed, gloating over his successful trap. However, Renette, furious, demands to know Rick's location. After some intimidation, Freed reveals Rick is nearby no more than 100 meters away. Rick, having appeared near a river behind the training center, is confronted by the elite guard of the Diarmute family. Realizing Raster's involvement, Rick prepares to fight but is outmatched. Suddenly, Rick's senior party members appear, scaring him more than the elite guard. They ask why he is there instead of at his exam. Rick lies, saying the elite guard was helping him train. 
The leader of the elite guard orders his team to attack, but the party members easily overpower them. They quickly subdue the elite guard, with Mizette using a rifle and Alice vaporizing an attacker who tried to take her hostage. Realizing the strength of Rick's party, the elite guard's leader decides to retire immediately. Rick returns to Renette after she deals with Freed, and they find Lynx, who had been beaten up by Raster. Lynx had shared his dream of building a school for children in his village, only for Raster to mock him and beat him up. Rick, now filled with determination, vows to defeat Raster. This concludes episode 2. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for the next part where Rick hopefully avoids more teleportation traps.